Police are cracking down on e-scooters in Melbourne's inner north as they become more popular in parts of Melbourne where they're illegal. Officers have revealed a 28-year-old rider died in hospital last week after hitting a speed bump and falling from his scooter further north in Pasco Vale. You might be used to seeing them more and more, but this morning some e-scooter riders in Brunswick were faced with the reality of the law. Most of the e-scooters we see um, can only be ridden on private property and so they shouldn't be ridden on the road. Private e-scooters that are over 200 watts or go faster than 10 kilometres per hour can't be registered in Victoria, meaning they can't legally be ridden in public. Riders can be fined more than $900 and have their scooter confiscated. The orange and green e-scooters that you can rent on an app can legally be ridden, but only in zones in the council areas of Melbourne, Port Phillip and Yarra and in certain parts of Ballarat. E-scooter crashes can cause severe injuries and doctors say they're seeing more of them. We've got quite a lot of people already injured, seriously injured. Police are still investigating a fatal crash which happened on this street in Pascavale. Police believe the 28-year-old rider lost control as he hit a speed hump late last month. He died in hospital on Friday. Of course he didn't have a helmet on which didn't help. Uh, it's very tragic for both him and his family um, but it's something that's avoidable. The government is expected to introduce new laws around e-scooters once the results of the share trials are finalised, possibly next year. Kate Ashton, ABC News, Melbourne.